Excel Unit D, we are going to work on working with charts. The first thing that you need to do when you create a chart is plan how you want that chart to look. Some of the things you need to keep in mind is you need to determine the purpose of the chart and identify the data relationships you want to communicate graphically. Next, you need to determine the results you want to see and decide which chart type is most appropriate to display this information. Identify the worksheet data you want the chart to illustrate, and then understand the elements of the chart itself. You need to understand that the horizontal axis is also called the x-axis. Then you have your vertical axis or your y-axis. You have grid lines, plot areas, tick marks, and data markers. All of this is explained in Excel page 80. Now that you've planned your chart, let's create your chart. First, we're going to select our ranges A4 through E12. This is the data that we want to analyze. So I've selected this information. Once I release the mouse button, we have the quick analysis button that appears. I'm going to select it. Then we're going to determine what we want to do. What I want to do is go to charts and it gives me the types of charts that are available. For this particular range of data, let's select clustered columns. Next, I'm going to select the switch row and column feature. Then I'm going to select undo. Okay, switch row and columns changes the way it looks. Here I'm looking at quarters. Here I'm looking at countries. Next, I'm going to click on the chart title placeholder. This is the chart title placeholder, so I'm going to select it. And this will allow me to type in the heading that I want. In order to select all the information that is inside this text box, I'm going to hold down the control key and hit A. to select all the information here. Then I'm going to type in quarterly tour expenses as my title. I can click anywhere inside the chart to deselect the title and the title is now placed. Don't forget to save your work as you go.